So progressions to the general front plank, which is just a, a stable exercise where you're not moving, is going to be a dynamic front plank position. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is really a, a variation of an ab roller. Normally we're going to use this, but this is pretty tough. So we're going to start off with an elevated position using the stability ball. We're going to do all the same two, or, uh, methods okay, and coaching cues, but what we're going to do is we're just going to be in an upright position more so than when we use the roller. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring those hips through like we always would. We want to create a straight body from my knees, hips, and shoulders by pulling the ribs to my pelvis. So hold that position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to reach down with our forearms. And all we're going to do is we're going to reach out. We allow our forearms to go away from our body, which stretches our core, and then we go back. Again, we're just rolling out and rolling in, which is identical to the ab roller. Now, if you're ready, you're going to progress into the ab roller, and the only difference is, is it's going to lay you down a little bit more. Again, create that straight body with your hips, your knees, and your shoulders. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to roll out while, and most importantly, keeping those ribs tucked into your pelvis. If they drop, what's going to happen is your hips are going to hit first, and you're actually hurting your lower back as you're hyperextending it more than what we want. So we've got to make sure that we keep it tight. And the only thing that should be touching is my nose. If my nose is the only thing that touches, I know I'm doing it right. So I go here, release out, release out, right nose touch, pull it back in, and back up. Again, if you don't have the ab strength to do this yet, stay on that ball until you do. Some other variations that we're going to talk about are going to be some saws, some body saws. Okay, so there's two different variations of body saws that we can do. Instead of now moving our elbows out and back, what we're going to simply do here is pull our toes out and back. And so we've got the first one, which is going to be the ball, which is a little bit easier. We're just going to get into that push-up position on the ball. We're just going to reach back and then reach forward. Bring our hips up, reach back and reach forward. And then back and reach forward. Try to tuck and pull that ball in just slightly. And we're going to find that same transverse abdominus working. If you don't like that, you can use these slide boards and put your feet underneath the elbows, and the same thing is going to be true. Now you can do it from your forearms, or you can do it from a push-up position. The same thing is true. We just reach out with those toes, and then we pull them back in. Reach out, and then we pull our elbows to our toes. Push them apart, and then pull them back in together. The entire time, keeping those ribs tucked towards the elbows.